Eric Backer, the naturopath. We're back on the topic of omega-3 fish oil. The question today, can omega-3 fish oil help me with my thyroid? Can thyroid health be positively influenced with omega-3? Have you been to a health food shop lately or looked online, say at Amazon or iHerb? There's hundreds of products you can get for thyroid health, all claiming to cure your thyroid disease and all this sort of nonsense. Well, I've got a very dear respected friend, uh, Dr. Michael Godfrey here in New Zealand, who lives on the East Coast, Tauranga, uh, quite a nice place he lives. Mike's been a, an amazing medical doctor for a long time, and I've had many discussions with him over the years. I just read one of his articles uh, in a 2017 organic magazine. Mike's a very, very, very um, experienced doctor, must be in his what, 70s or 80s by now. And Mike's article was basically about two things for the thyroid, two things, iodine and selenium. The two things that most people watching this video right now will probably not be getting in their diet iodine and selenium. I need to spend a lot more time on this channel um, working on thyroid content because adrenal and thyroid patients were uh, basically my bread and butter for many years. That's what I worked on for over 10-15 years were uh, endocrine cases, complex endocrine cases involving um, hypo or hyperthyroidism and often hypoadrenalism at the same time. So selenium, um, three Brazil nuts a day will give you the selenium you're looking for is a key element that drives selenoenzymes. So there is about 25 different selenoenzymes, enzymes driven by selenium. So you need selenium really in your diet to activate multiple enzyme pathways. Uh, just try to remember though, glutathione peroxidase is a very important enzyme and uh, the saturation of that enzyme by selenium gives us an idea on how much selenium people really need in their diet. People need a lot more selenium than they're told. Now, iodine, you cannot make any thyroid hormones without iodine at all, really. So <clears throat> you need iodine in your diet. And we know that the Japanese get between three to six milligrams per day. Americans wouldn't even get a tenth of that, probably a hundredth of that. So these are critical elements you need for thyroid health, are iodine and selenium. So look more into that. But omega-3 plays a big role when it comes to thyroid because it has EPA and DHA in it. And particularly the EPA component of the fish oil is anti-inflammatory, right? Now the, thi the thyroid gland is one of our most complex of all our endocrine glands. Many experts believe it's actually the most important gland because it interfaces really with the pituitary and the hypothalamus and the rest of the body. Every single organ in the body is affected. Every cell is affected by thyroid function. It's exquisitely complicated how it works, but it has got very simple nutritional requirements. That's the sad thing, right? Complicated things yet can run simply, right? Automobile's complicated, but it runs on gasoline. I mean, that's not that, that hard to figure out, is it? The problem today with thyroid is not so much will omega-3 help thyroid patients, it's why are people having too much omega-6 in their diet, which tends to push them more into a pro-inflammatory state. So eating the crappy oils, okay, corn oil, canola oil, all these hydrogenated oils, and, and these, not good, not good. So going more into omega-3 consumption, fish and supplements that contain omega-3, or foods like walnuts, and going out of the omega-6 is clever move for people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, for example, or Graves' disease. So people with major thyroid dysfunction really need to do a major diet overhaul. Any kind of autoimmune disease will need that. So the evidence is strong when it comes to omega-3 reducing inflammation. But there is also evidence suggesting omega-3 supplements can boost thyroid hormone uptake, which is great news for those with hyperthyroidism, a condition that with a large percentage of people suffer with today. It's just made up to 40% of people, like four out of 10 could have some low functioning of their thyroid. <clears throat> A Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry study in 2010 discovered that when animals received fish oil, they had higher levels of thyroid hormones, uh, sorry, the receptors, they had more receptors. Uh, they had also had en enzyme levels that were increased than those who didn't take, the animals that didn't take any fish oil. So I'm a big fan of omega-3 supplements for people with low functioning thyroid. I really believe 
um, that it will help to boost your receptor quality and quantity. But on top of that, remember selenium, iodine, zinc. Okay, zinc's also a critical one. So iodine, selenium, zinc, B vitamins, and probably trace elements like manganese. These are all important for thyroid health. You can get them usually through a good diet. Thanks for tuning in.